restaurant having a buffet, when the, we see the spread, but what is digestible, that only we eat, or what is healthy rather. <laughs> so that, the same applies for uh, which FSI you are going to use. Already, I think trailer we had, uh, President Vieta, one of the world already has presented two sections. This is a new section which is introduced now. Now architects, rather than being on the drawing board, they are much working on Excel sheet, rather than uh, actually designing a building. Because if the building is feasible, then only it will go to the drawing board. Otherwise, it will just remain on paper and nothing will come up. 3323 uh, regulation has been kept in abeyance when uh, the regulation was uh, published in 2018. And now they have introduced that. What does that mean? That is a transit-oriented development scheme. Majority of the uh, railway lines Metro lines, monorails, they want to cover up uh, within the 500 meters. And right now, the seats to Kolaba only uh, they have introduced. Uh, we hope uh, it will be extended to uh, other metros and monorails and uh, not the main railway stations, which are Eastern uh, Railway and the Western Railway. They are not going to include that. They will be giving, uh, uh, I mean, uh, advantage to the metro lines only. So just we'll have a look at uh, what does this, uh, what is there in store for us. So point over, uh, there is what is exactly a transit-oriented uh, development. In urban planning, transit-oriented development is a type of urban development that maximizes the amount of residential, business, leisure space, and within walking distance of public transport. So what does that mean? They, they want, you should not travel from one distance to another, you will be staying there, you will be working in that uh, zone and so that the roads will not be clogged and there will be decongestion. That is what uh, this uh, regulation aims at. It promotes a symbiotic relationship between dense, compact, urban form of uh, public transport use. In doing so, TOD aims to increase public transport ridership by reducing the use of private cars and by promoting sustainable urban growth. So more than 100 plus mega cities across the world have adopted TOD regulations. In Tokyo, NYC, it has reduced the dependency on vehicular traffic. In developing cities, right in India, Kolkata has a TOD. It has boosted the local economy. In growing economies of Mexico City, Buenos Aires, Addis Ababa, it provides better and safer access to women, children, and elderly because the uh, transportation is less. You are working within the same area. London, it has proved, it is, uh, I mean, GDP growth has been uh, uh, increased by 12 to 13 percent every decade. So, what is TOD restricted to? Area within 500 meters around the boundary of the proposed metro rail station or monorail station, at present limited to Kalaba and Seeps underground metro. How will the TOD limit be decided? BMC shall prepare a local area plan four TOD zones of each individual station's areas by covering out existing land use survey within two months of this notice and publish the same on BMC website. For your knowledge, I mean two months have already passed. This is nothing, nothing is on paper right now. And they have given a limit of one year only uh, premium reduction. I don't know how that is going to work because one year, even submission takes one year to, uh, so how we are going to achieve that, that we have to see. Where is TOD applicable? Redevelopment projects to be developed as per DCPR. Additional FSI as per TOD is permitted. All schemes as per distance from metro or monorail station can claim the FSI. Once commissioner approves, same can be sanctioned by concerned authorities because this there will be separate planning authorities, maybe SRA, maybe MADA, maybe MRDA also. So there will be several uh, uh, planning authorities involved in this. Uh, special provision for ongoing projects. Now, a plot or plots in TOD zone where IOD, IOA, LOI offer letters have been issued, the development may be completed as per the provisions of approval, or the entire proposal may be converted as per this regulation at the option of the developer. In case the construction is partly completed, still you have a vacant land, so balance potential can be converted to uh, TOD regulation. What happens if OCC is granted? 
you'll have to search for some other plot. So you can't do anything. Uh, when can commissioner allow TOD proposal? Commissioner shall allow TOD FSI only after an agreement for an underground vestibule between the developer, MMRCL, MMRD is submitted. An impact assessment study and integrated mobility plan is submitted by the developer. After ensuring that the proposal does not affect the TOD zone, development under combinations of various regulations are allowed, means 337, 339, 335, 3310. These all uh, combinations you can do. If the FSI under a redevelopment scheme is more than TOD FSI, TOD uh, regulation applicable. Now, these are dependent on the roadways. Uh, so, uh, uh, on 9 meter road, uh, the FSI will be varying from 2.25 to uh, 4 FSI, it depends on the uh, uh, plot area. So, uh, uh, this would be the 9 meter, this would be 12 meters, would be ranging from 2.5 to 4.5 FSI. On 18 meter road, it will be 3 to 5.5 FSI, and the maximum will be 7 FSI, which is obviously for plot area more than 20,000 square meters, and the road width is uh, more than 27 uh, meter as such. Now, uh, what will be the FSI breakup as such? Zonal uh, FSI with 1.33 or 1 FSI, this is the uh, zonal basic FSI. Principal FSI, that is as per table 38, table 12, or FSI, any, any other uh, regulation. Suppose if it is 33.7 minus 1.33, so 1.67 will be permitted in the principal FSI. Beyond that, it will be a TOD FSI. So FSI permitted beyond principal FSI, but within maximum permissible FSI as per the table discussed above because uh, that is what the road width and the plot size will matter to decide the final quantum of the TOD FSI. So if you take an example of a um, uh, plot in uh, say Moral area, zonal basic FSI if the plot area is 2000 and the maximum width of road is 27 meters, uh, uh, FSI basic will be 2000, premium and uh, TDI will be 3000. TOD FSI will be 2000, so total will be 7000 FSI plus the fundable. So this is what uh, uh, it will be applicable. But of course, if we are going for this, maybe 3319 also uh, can help. Uh, so yeah, there will be a lot of permutation combination which uh, architect needs to uh, work out. So uh, how the measurements are going to be done? Because the 500 meters, if you are half of the more than half of the plot is covered within the 500 meters, it will be entire plot, even going beyond 500 meters also will be permitted in uh, uh, DOD uh, FSI. But if it is less than 50% uh, of the plot is uh, uh, less than 500 meters, then it will be proportionate. Uh, how to claim that DOD FSI? Premiums for additional FSI will be 50% of ASR, which is the present uh, regulation. And uh, for 12 months, I don't know from which date 12 months is to be counted, so this uh, needs clarification. And 50% rebate on fungible FSI, uh, uh, so both uh, reduction uh, uh, by 50% it is there. TOD premium shall be set off against the construction of cost of vestibule. We will be seeing from where we have to construct the vestibule. So for if whatever vestibule we are going to construct up to the uh, uh, metro line, uh, that construction cost can be set off against the premium and 50% of the premium shall be shared between MMRCL and uh, uh, MUDP. Uh, land uh, provisions to be done in TOD scheme. So this is the vestibule which is uh, uh, the brown, uh, it is showing the elevator from where it is going to be connected. It will go vestibule you will have to construct and straight it will lead to the uh, metro station and uh, directly access from the property. So land to be connected directly from metro or monorail network through a vestibule. 3.5 meter um, uh, corridor will be required. This can be within the length of 500 meters. Uh, cost to be borne by the project proponent. Neighboring plots, if there are any, which is shown in the sketch. Suppose if it is coming, uh, there is a neighboring plot, that uh, acquisition cost uh, project proponent will have to bear uh, to pass through that uh, plot. And if vestibule is under the road or any EMC land, 
BMC to give NOC to project or project proponent. Work to be done only after impact assessment plan is submitted to MMRCL or concerned authorities. So this, this is how the even front open space they are going to allow at 1.5 meter and uh, you can avoid uh, constructing the compound wall, uh, uh, pedestrian access way 3 meter to be provided, building line up to pedestrian pathway allowable up to 1.5 meters. Uh, 20, now if there is a redevelopment project, 20% of maximum total FSI to be of tenements minimum 27.88 square meters of carpet area. For free cell component, 50% of the TOD FSI uh, shall be utilized for MIT tenements as specified by BMC. So I hope it is 80 square meter, whatever it is in MADA plus the fungible. And uh, clubbing or amalgamation not permitted. So smaller flats, whatever you are proposing, that uh, has to be independent and uh, there will be no clubbing or amalgamation. For mixed use projects, 20% of the FSI utilized for residential purpose shall be considered for calculating MIT tenement provision. Uh, for ongoing project, no provision to be made if IOD LOI offer letter is granted by the concerned planning authority. Uh, mixed use development, residential plus commercial development is allowed on minimum 12 meter road because that is what the provision says, below 12 meters commercial development is not allowed. So mixed use uh, development will be allowed on a minimum 12 meter road. Purely mercantile or a, a IT building shall be permitted on independent lot subject to payment of premium. Car deal, showrooms and warehouses storage are not permitted uh, because I feel because of the traffic issue because uh, car showrooms will generate lot of traffic, warehouses also will generate lot of traffic. So this uh, won't be permitted in the TOD. Uh, marginal open spaces where thoroughfare accesses are there. We, we have depicted just uh, uh, two buildings and if you are going to club that entire project, common compound wall can be removed and that can be uh, used as a vestibule area. And between the two buildings, that can be used as a joint open space. Uh, uh, impact assessments to be done by the project proponent Acceptance of precondition to get TOD FSI, city and sector level impact study to be done, impact on infrastructure, amenity, traffic and environment to be carried out, shall involve traffic simulation study also. Uh, even if negative impacts are seen, mitigation members, uh, measures can be suggested. Miti mitigation measures shall be implemented by BMC using TOD FSI uh, uh, premium. Now, interlinkage between modes of transport parking management, pedestrianization, non-motorized transport network, traffic management, traffic calming, interconnected street network, plan to be prepared by project proponent, plan to be implemented by BMC. Uh, parking will be 50% of the requirement because they are expecting you not to travel. So obviously you don't need a car. So the uh, requirement will reduce down to 50% and uh, uh, that is what the requirement is. Obviously, additional whatever in the, is in the regulation 44, that will be permitted. 50% of the requirement will be uh, uh, add-on. Uh, no on-street car parking shall be permissible unless specifically allowed uh, in the integrated mobility plan report. 50% uh, of parking area as incentive, this is for a PPL. If you are proposing PPL along with the TD, TOD FSI, uh, uh, then 50% of the parking area will be allowed as an incentive without premium. So in normal course in 3318, there are premiums, 60% uh, we are paying the ready regular rate. In this case, we will not be paying any premium uh, because you are providing a uh, public parking lot within your uh, uh, project. Minimum five numbers, either at ground floor, skill floor or first floor to be provided. <coughs> Such parking shall be added over before granting occupation. These are procedural work. Parking area shall have independent access from the public road. The maximum parking area shall be decided by the commissioner. Area covered by such parking lot shall not be counted towards FSI. Landowner, uh, I mean, you can't uh, operate if you are a developer or a landowner or a society. This uh, will have to be uh, carried out by CGM itself. Special provisions, provision of amenity, 14A is not applicable if you are going under TOD FSI. Uh, uh, 14A will not be applicable, inclusive housing, 15 will not be applicable, development says 37, that also will not be applicable. If the cost of vestibule is less than development says payable, then balance shall be recovered. 
So this is what I mean. We are looking at once the 3323 uh, that is TOD comes into a picture, we will be seeing new economic opportunities, more food for more business, new infrastructure. It sounds okay, but in practical sense, because there are civilization issues, uh, a lot of other uh, restrictions are there. So how we are going to consume this kind of FSI and club with uh, other provisions? We'll have to just uh, test it when it is being implemented. Thank you.